If you use an AR-15 for home defense, you need to practice with your trigger and your sights. The Mantis Blackbeard allows you to do that much more effectively. It's a drop-in bolt carrier group and magazine that works with your trigger and your sights in your rifle to give you real-time feedback and reset your trigger up to 10 times a second. I use it all the time to be more proficient as a carbine shooter and I recommend it highly. Hey guys, Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant, Active Self Protection Extra, and this is your Manus Dry Fire Monday. Uh, there will be no drills today. This is a talk about uh, ways that you could improve yourself, so some of you will probably not want to listen to this part very much, and you're probably the ones that need to hear it the most. So hopefully I can capture your attention with that. Um, you are a coach, you are a teacher, and your first client is always yourself. Uh, I often get times in the comments where people say, well, I have this, therefore I can never do that. I'm not tall enough, I'm not fast enough, uh, my, my f feet are too flat, my knees don't work, my back doesn't work. And while all that's true, what they're embracing is called a fixed mindset. They're sim simply stuck the same way they are forever. And the fixed mindset says that you can't develop strength and you can't get smarter and you can't develop skill. Uh, it is what you're born with, it's a talent, it's a gift. And, uh, and unfortunately, you don't have those things, so you can only be what you are right now. And what a trap that is. Uh, what a sad thing for you to say to yourself. Uh, the growth mindset says that we can develop these things. As a coach, what we're constantly developing is strength, speed, flexibility, endurance, agility, and intelligence. Uh, fighters get stronger, but they also get smarter. Uh, we teach them how to make better decisions under pressure and uh, you know anybody who thinks that uh, genius doesn't exist in the athletic realm simply hasn't spent time with athletes they're geniuses in different ways than intellectual people are and it's an important thing to realize that we can improve this we can always be growing all right you can get better than you were if you're simply willing to challenge yourself but the fixed mindset is comfortable because it tells us that we're safe uh, we don't have to strive it simply is what it is and uh, we can make a negative comment and move on. But you're missing the passion of learning. You're missing the curiosity of learning. Uh, the kindness that you should be expressing to yourself is devoid in your life, okay? And these things keep us from improving. Now let's look at the difference. If you have a fixed mindset, you believe things are talents or gifts, and simply you're not good enough. If you have a growth mindset, you believe that effort and learning will lead you to the next level. So the difference in the conversation with yourself, if you're fixed, you're like, wow, look how talented that guy is. I wish I was like that, all right? But if we look at the growth mindset, the other side of it would be this. Wow, I wonder how hard they had to work to get that good, and I wonder if I can do the same thing. It's a very different thing, and it's a great way to communicate with yourself. It's a great way to communicate with the world. Sometimes I fail myself in doing this, but we always want to believe that we can become better than we were yesterday. And that's what our whole goal is, is, is uh, personal protection advocates, self-defenders, is that we want to avoid the fight. And the sooner we can see and the more we can learn the signs in the environment, the better decisions that we can make in advance, then the sooner we can uh, stay away from the fight altogether. And as we make worse and worse decisions and realize that we're stuck, that's when we have a harder time. So I want you to start working with yourself with a growth mindset that you can get better, that you can improve. Uh, some people will dislike this automatically and they'll say, well, that's Pollyanna. But I got to tell you, growth mindset is brutal compared to fixed mindset because growth mindset said, well, you did pr pretty good. What can we do better? We're always going to be looking for improvement. We're always going to be asking ourselves, how do we improve on this? The fixed mindset simply said, well, you did the best you could. It's too bad you're not good enough. See, that's really lazy and, and that's really a way out. But when you say the growth side of it, all right, I did a really good job on that, but I think I could improve the way that I uh, cleared my cover garment. That's gonna allow you to grow and it's gonna keep you passionate. Um, in order to keep practicing, and people with fixed mindsets tend to be very pessimistic at heart and they will quit practicing eventually. They have a very hard time maintaining practice over long durations. And I'm talking to you as somebody who started training in martial arts at 13. So I'm 56, I'm still training, I'm still passionate about it. Uh, and frankly, I'm upset that I don't have more time left in my life uh, because I'm really starting to figure some things out. It's getting better all the time. Uh, and I'm not quite the physical specimen I used to be when I was 20, but I grew 
and I know how to get around those things. I know how to get better. Four things you want to think about. What is your motivation? What is your purpose? Okay. Are you learning? Okay. Are you creative in your learning process? And do you allow yourself to flow through it? Do you allow yourself to grow as you do it? Once you start thinking about that, so what, what's your motivation? What's your purpose? Uh, it doesn't have to be fun. When we're doing deliberate practice, that's not necessarily a fun thing because we're examining and analyzing and measuring what we do and refining it. Okay. Are we learning? And I find that to be the greatest thing in life is to continue learning. Uh, I take so many classes, as many as I can, uh, every year so that I continue my learning process. And I always get something unique. I go to a class for a reason, but often the instructor has other lessons to offer and communication skills and learning, how they phrase things, how they structure their class. So it's always learning and it, it, it keeps me very excited about life and I hope for the rest of my life that I'll never stop that. I wanna be creative. When I practice in the morning, I keep my iPad next to me so that I can, I have a, a page called Shooting Notes and I just put whatever comes into mind in there and I keep that and I'm able to refer to it and come back and build upon that. And it becomes a creative process of how can I become a better coach? And the idea of flow is our performance metric. If we've done everything else and we've, we've worked on motivation and learning and creativity, and we've developed the skills through struggle, uh, we'll be able to get to a state where we can simply allow ourselves to be an observer and perform at our highest level. I hope that helps you guys. Um, I'm not asking you to be something that you're not. I'm asking you to become something you should be. I want you to grow. I want you to continue to grow for the rest of your life. And I want you to improve yourself and be better than you were yesterday. All right, guys, I'm Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. I feel like uh, I sent you a deep message today, but it's an important one. Monitor how you coach yourself and measure it. Refine what you say to yourself and then learn to perform at your highest levels. Don't compare yourself to other people. That's, that's the thief of joy whenever we compare ourselves. Just allow yourself to perform at your highest level. See your improvement. Sometimes it'll feel like we're not improving, but it's coming. It always will if you'll do the work, you'll stay motivated and you keep learning. All right, Manus is a great tool for this because it's going to measure everything you're doing. It's going to give you some new goals to work on. All right, Active self-protection will give you a contextual environment to realize what's important and necessary for the armed citizen. And then I'm here to help push you a little bit and hope that you will be kinder to yourself, that you will expend the effort to improve yourself because at the end of the day, you're the most valuable asset that you have. All right, Brian Hill with The Complete Combatant. Measure, refine, and perform.